Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another day of Number Corner. It's Miss and Ferreira. Uh, we're just going to review our March calendar. We only have two more days left of March. Oh my goodness, where did the time go? Get it? Time. Anyway, all right. Yesterday was Sunday, March the 29th, 2020. So after Sunday, the next day is Monday. Monday, March 30th. 2020. All right, take a good look at all of the patterns here with the type of clock and also what time the clock says. Remember, we have our calendar collection grid here, and I want you to take a good look at the patterns. And you know the drill. I give you 30 seconds to turn and talk to discuss with your parents on what type of clock it's going to be today and also what time the clock will show based on the pattern of the time that goes by. All right, here we go, 30 seconds, starting now. All right, boys and girls, let's take a look here. We have our chart here, and if you can see here, the last four days we had analog clocks. And if you follow the pattern going down, analog, 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 digital, the next one should be, let's see, analog, 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 analog. It should be a digital clock. And the pattern over here was 30, 30, 60 minutes. 30, 30, 60. So we have a 30, so the next one should be another 30 minutes. So after 6.30, you have to add 30 more minutes. You can do that in your head really fast. I'm going to zoom in for you so we can get a better look at our number card here. I'll zoom in one more time, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this card over and we have, a digital clock. All right, if that might look familiar to you, maybe you have a little alarm clock in your bedroom that wakes you up. I know I do, and I always hit that snooze button because I am not a morning person. All right, so this clock, the digital clock, says seven o'clock. What I have here is our analog clock, and it still shows 6.30 from yesterday's Sunday. I am going to move that minute hand around until it shows seven o'clock. That means the hour hand has to be pointing right at the seven, and then that minute hand has to go all the way up to the 12. So let's practice counting by fives. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So as you can see here, 30 minutes went by. So I'm going to update our chart here, three 30. I'm going to type in digital because the pattern has now changed a little bit. Analog, 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 digital. So that means tomorrow that pattern starts all over again. Instead of 6.30, now it is 7 o'clock. And when we move that minute hand around, we figured out that 30 minutes went by. So I'm going to type in here 30 minutes. And we also discussed that when that minute hand goes around half of the clock, we call that a half an hour, half hour. All right, so you can try to think of your predictions for tomorrow. Tomorrow, remember, is the last day of the month. And then April calendar, I wonder what's going to be on there. I'm sure it's not gonna be clocks again and telling time. It's gonna be something a little bit different. Okay, let's go to our next thing here with our days in school. We point to this chart and say 100. Then we count these columns by 10. So it's 110, 120. Here we have a group of five that's crossed off. So we can say 120 plus five is 125. Then you keep counting up 126, 127, 128. So now I have to put one for today and that makes 129. All right, I am going to now go switch our screen. Here we have one group of 100. 
We count those 10 sticks by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. The one represents one group of 100. 110, 120. We have two 10 rods here, so that represents the tens. And last time we did this, we had eight ones left over, but I am going to change the color here because I have to add a one for today. So turn and talk and whisper to your parents what I have to do over here. Go ahead. All right, so let's count these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does it match? No, so I need to erase this number eight because I do not have eight ones left over anymore. Now I have nine ones left over. So instead of 128, we have 129. All right, we're going to our spinner now. We did a few spins when we uh, left off on Friday for the weekend because we only had a few days left for March. So I wanted to collect enough money here and do this over the weekend just so we have like some math problems to work with with money. So for Saturday, we collected 15 cents and Sunday we collected seven cents. And today I'm going to give this another spin. I'm going to zoom in real close to our spinner. And let's hope for some big money here. Big money, big money. That looks like it's on the line. So let's give this another spin. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, all right. That's a new one. We didn't have that one last week. We have a coin here. Can you look at these? poems and try to decide which coin it is. You can whisper to your parents. Is it the dime, the nickel, or the penny? Okay, if you guessed the dime, you are correct. Please kiss your brains. Okay, so let me just zoom out so I can see the whole chart again. I have to put two dimes on the next line here. I'm gonna put one on heads and one on tails. And as we learned from our dime poem, a dime is worth 10 cents, so we have to count them by tens. So we have 10, 20. So we have 20 cents for today. I have it set for the color red. And I'm sorry, my handwriting is not the best on a computer. I'm trying. Okay, so what I want you to do with your parents uh, today, I want you to discuss which day we collected the most amount of money. It was either Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Also talk about which day we collected the least amount of money. And then the next thing, the third and final thing, I want you to add the money up. Remember, boys and girls, you can use your real change that you have at home, or you can just pause this video and you can count the money up like that. All right, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the day. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, the last day of March. I can't believe it. All right, boys and girls, remember, rock on. Bye.